What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Demo Storm, and we're back with... Well, not exactly back. We're back with another game. This is Mad Max. I've been waiting for it for a while. I played a couple hours on stream. I'm just showing it off in this video, seeing if people actually want to see a full series start to finish of this game. Uh, I picked the shovel face, and I have a couple upgrades, and I want to just show off some of the gameplay mechanics that are in More Mad Max. And I am driving with a PS4 controller because reasons. It's way easier than keyboard and mouse when driving. I did not have a good time driving in uh, GTA with a keyboard and mouse, so I didn't think I would enjoy this game. Um, I haven't actually tried it very much, so we'll see what happens. Oh, look at this. Guys are just parked. And we'll just get right into it. The thick of it. Let's see. Keep the car safe. Watch out! The gas powder! And we just wrecked that guy. So basically what we're doing is you use scrap, which you get for blowing up cars, killing guys, going into camps, and then you can do things like this. Switch over to the harpoon. And just blow it to kingdom come. From all that, it drops scrap which you use to upgrade all sorts of things. So we'll just pick up the scrap real quick. And we'll show you some of the crafting menus. So when it comes down to scrap, you can upgrade everything from knuckle dusters, so the things on our fists, so we hit harder. You have armor suits. You have armor on your arms to block with. You have weapon belts, which are way worth it ammo and you can also upgrade your appearance say I want to look like that there we go we got a musky face uh, your shotgun can be upgraded all sorts of like finishing moves so like reversal disarms the attacker wall finishers ground finishers we got melee weapon finishers right now I'm not really going into all that uh, these are just basic items oh. And then we also have the car, which also has all different things. But as you add these pieces, if you can see on the right-hand side, the stats change. So, like, if I have a V8, it would be different. But if I were to put armor on it now, uh, things change. So, like, weight will affect your speed. So, you're looking at that, it d gets rid of handling, gets rid of all that type of stuff. We also have hood ornaments that we can, you know what I mean, put on the front and the back of the car. And where's my paint? You also have paint, which we can make my car look ridiculous. You also have flame burners on the sides and whatnot. Everything from repair speed can be repaired, everything. Yeah, can all be affected. We also cars. drive on the opposite side because Mad Max takes place in Australia. Oh, well, here's some cars. And they want my nuts. These tires are unprotected. Oh god. Let's see if I can change it mid-combat. I'd actually never check this. Oh, uh, where's it? Where's it? Tire spikes. Yeah, I'll put the tire spikes back on. It'll weigh me down, so I'm not as fast, but... Grind his wheels out. Ooh. Alright, we gotta get moving. Or else we're just gonna get wrecked sitting still. So also, as combat goes on, we have a harpoon to use. We can dismantle the door, make it so we can actually hit the guy right out of it with the harpoon. So, this guy's no longer going to be driving. Oh, as we get wrecked. Uh, health bars, oil, gas, everything's down in the bottom right corner. Are those looking? And I don't think we have any shotgun ammo, so I can't just blow them up. can do this. Hit him pretty hard. We also have a first person camera if that's really what people want. It's not really useful in any situation. <laughs> But 
I don't really like the first person camera. Oh, look at him go. You can usually, if you upgrade the harpoon high enough, you can pull their tires off. Oh, I'm getting hit by a sniper rifle at the same time. There's also like mega storms, which things fly around and they make everything crazy. Oh shit. Okay, we'll just eliminate him. So let's get you guys some combat. Can I clear that camp up here? You're just talking about these things. All right. Let's see. Bio. For some reason, my map's not pulling up. That's weird. Maybe it's because of that storm coming in. Oh, let's go right to the thick of it. We can get mega loot out of this. That's why it's worth it. Let's jump. Start fixing the car. Uh, this storm is about to completely change the entire world. Because all the cars and stuff we just blew up all start becoming scrap. And this is when our cars start getting injured because of pieces flying through the air. Uh, there's a mega loot crate. So I'll harpoon that and try and get the scrap. Alright, we gotta dodge pieces, we gotta dodge people. Whatever we can to survive. So I'm gonna park behind this cliff and hope we don't get hit by anything. Oh my god. This storm is so dangerous. I'll tell you guys, this game can be hard as hell. Oh god. Oh my god. I thought I'd be safe here. Need the loot. Our car's getting beat to shit too. So as you guys can see, we're building loot just for doing a mega crate, and I'm getting demolished. <laughs> I'll tell you, this game is not easy. So now we got to get out of this storm. The only way to do it. Especially when my health is low, it's not easy at all. Let's try and get out of this. Ooh. I think I see a tornado up ahead. Ah, it's dangerous. I know you guys can't see anything, neither can I. That's the whole point of this whole storm. It's a very, very physics-based game. No, I did not take over this camp. Shit. Even worse. I can't put my car right down right now. Let's get over here. Chump's gonna have to fix the car. Oh, and he took me out. Damn it. So, that's a storm for you. The game is supposed to be hard. Ugh. And we're just loading up. Uh, also, the, the combat is very similar to... Oh, did I keep my scrap too? I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I did keep the scrap. So. Oh, so it's sort of worth it. Oh, and here's a camp for you guys. I'm probably not going to survive this camp. Was it really hard earlier? And we'll try 
try and dodge all this stuff. The harpoon is your best friend. Problems now is getting through this big gate. There we go. And we'll slowly make our way into this combat. You shoot the flare and John Bucket comes to the rescue. Yes. I'm gonna grab this gas can because you can also, you know what I mean, refuel your car and stuff. So we're gonna store that in the back of my car. Alright guys, we'll see if we can do this today. No. Uh, so it does save my progress of where I was. That's cool. Alright, I know this combat up ahead. This is where it gets interesting. And let's do some combat. Alright, since I didn't take out the guy with the drum up there. Alright, right now I'm in like a fucking hard hitting mode. We got this for combos. And I'm not the greatest at combat. Right now when recording, it's way harder to talk into this. They also hit double. Because I didn't take out that guy. And unfortunately I have no shotgun ammo, so I can't just like one shot at one of these guys. Oh god. We're just going to use the guy with the shield to start beating these guys. Try to break his arm. This guy's attached to something over here. Alright, buddy. He's gonna shut up now. <laughs> uh, that was actually a hard fight. I did it on stream. Killed everyone except for the last guy with the shield. Destroyed me. So you'll notice that there's parts of this game that are just like, I gotta do this. This is what I'm talking about. Sniper. What's that? Face me. We blew him up. In these uh, strongholds, we'll explain more of the gameplay here, you have to blow up these things so the camp can never be used again by enemies. So, we'll ignite this. And kaboom. We need to do it again over here somewhere. I think that says transfer station. And that symbol over there is a scrotus symbol. The bad guy's symbol. Let's see. 
it's all really a quest to scavenge the loot to build your ultimate car. The story comes down to you're trying to get a V8 engine to build your ultimate car. And from that point, you will ride into something called the Plains of Silence. That's as far as I've gotten so far. I don't want to spoil any more. Uh, let's see. I don't think those count as the tanks. Do they? Then we can try it. Um, sometimes it does turn into a little bit of a repetitive finding, because I can't always find everything. Like, there's no symbol on that, but I think that's what I was supposed to blow up. And it just killed me. <laughs> there's the physics for you. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just asking if you guys want to see a front-to-back series on this game. I also have Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain to play. Um, you know what I mean? This is probably going to be... I'll play it top to bottom, like have a separate streamer, separate whatever, whatever I can do to make everyone enjoy their time here. Yeah, we're going to try and blow that up again and run away. Yes, that was my objective. So I guess it is marked on your minimap, thank god. Um... So we just, you know, cleared this camp. It is now a place to respawn, fast travel, be safe from storms. And people will start to live here. Which is also really nice. Because it gives a little bit more to, like, your actual mission. It also unlocked a new story mission because it's the area we're supposed to be in. Let's see if I can upgrade my... Yep. Ammo vault can be upgraded. So, being able to hold more ammo is always useful. Uh, shotguns can be used in cars. They can hit the fuel barrels of a car and blow it up instantly. Uh, there's c armored convoys to take down for hood ornaments. There's main mini-bosses to get paint for your cars. There is uh, story. You can steal cars from the enemy and drive them into a camp as like camouflage. It kind of gives me that mercenaries feeling. Like, really, really close to the mercenaries gameplay. The old Mercenaries game. Not the new one. Or the second one. But, uh... Yeah. Basically, this was just a demo demonstration video. Basically, of Mad Max. I will see you guys all later. Bye.